so I did get a headache from dying yesterday and not eating but we made it to Edo since we're here at Hiroshima whenever you see photos of the bombing this is basically all that was left and they've kept it up so we're not going to be able to see you know do a d another day in Hiroshima because I'm heading out we're going to see if I can make it to Hokkaido so this is the Children's Peace Monument and it's here for all the kids that died from the bombing. So it's, it's mainly erected for this girl that was two years old when the bombing happened, but then she died um, at, at 10 years old. And um, because it said that a kid who makes a thousand cranes gets one wish, um, there's uh, they have just all these cranes here and she never got to the thousand she made it to like 800 never got to finish and then over there we have the eternal flame I believe which is something that has uh, continued to burn since um, since the bombing took place and they continue burning it uh, you know at this point it's just like you know natural gas going off but they keep it burning just to never forget you know what took place so those are generally the photos you see. So everything has been demolished, except for that commercial exhibition hall, which is what this was. I don't know if you guys can see, but you can see that the top of the dome is not, you know, straight. It's kind of at an angle like that from the explosion that took place that bent those uh, steel beams. Barely made it to the airport, so we're gonna have a sandwich. That way, I don't, my head doesn't hurt later in the day. And then they also have Hiroshima Cola, so we're gonna try that out. The sandwich, I know what it's like. The sandwich slaps, always slaps. So since going to the Acai Museum, I'm an Acai stan. But um, so a review of the food from yesterday. It was, um, the ramen didn't, wasn't in like a huge, um, didn't have a, a large amount of soup. It was more so like the noodles and then like a sauce that you kind of like, you're supposed to twirl it around it. The egg was, was poached, which I think was kind of cool because then you could crack it and then it would emulsify with the rest of everything else, right? But it was nothing to write home about. Like, I'm not definitely not going to go. You know, if I come back, I, I wouldn't go to that spot. Um, the Karage was good. It was better than the other spot in Kyoto uh, and the main like little tourist section. But I think the best little chicken nuggies that I've had so far were from the bamboo forest. Those were really good. Um, and then the dumplings, uh, you know, the little fried dumplings. Those, those were cool too. So everything there was pretty, you know, it was like a five, six. I wouldn't go back to the restaurant and be like, oh my gosh, I gotta have this. No, there's restaurants like that in in Tokyo and that one ramen spot in Kyoto, but not not anywhere here in Hiroshima um, where I'm like, oh man, the food here is so great, so crazy, so amazing, you know? So we went from Hiroshima and we've now arrived at Hokkaido. Sopuro, specifically. So we got the flight of three and then some Hokkaido Gouda cheese. So Black Label is my favorite and the taste, I like the taste of it. Uh, I mean, I'm still not a beer drinker, but if somebody told me how to get a beer, it'd be Black Label. Classic tastes similar to the acai one where it's a very light flavored. Um, yeah. And then the Kaiketsu beer. That one I didn't really like. Um, there's an aftertaste to it that I just don't like that much. So a review of the Sapporo Beer Museum. The one in Asahi is better. So the Sapporo one is just one floor. That's it. And at the end of it, you have to pay for a flight or for the things that you want, right? Like the flight was 
eight dollars and then the cheese was a dollar so nine dollars in total um and they weren't full glasses they were like smaller glasses which is cool because i don't drink but still they gave you less and there was less information too like the it, the only thing that was english was the headline so the headline would say japan japan's first brewery and then all the details would still be in japanese so you could only really read the headline and that's it also that brewery well that the museum used to be a brewery but then you know they repurposed it as a museum so it no longer makes fresh beer anymore uh whereas the acai one is a real brewery that still brews so if you go to a beer museum in japan go to acai one in osaka that one is dope um but i like the flavor of uh sapato beer better you know what i mean but right now we're gonna go we're gonna walk to AutoZone. all right so now we're at AutoZone. why are we at AutoZone? because my vacation i feel like going to AutoZone. maybe i need a drain plug for my 2002 toyota corolla i want to pick it up jdm you know they must have got the stuff for pin my ride here because it's like a pet boys where not only do they service your car but then you can also buy replacement parts a bunch of replacement parts from what it looks like so they have oil in the aluminum aluminum cans over here and black ice is called white musk Never mind, Black Musk. <laughs> All right, so I was able to get exactly what I wanted. Some seat covers. And then in Japan, this means beginner driver. So first time driver. And then this one over here means that you're handicapped. So I got that. We good. If all you think I do is eat on the vlog, you're right. We're going to go eat after this. But I got to get some chicken chips. Taste of soft, juicy chicken. The boneless type. This ain't no bone-in chip boneless and then we got some chocolates over there that are pretty good but that's a family mart exclusive you know rip that family mart so there are three major convenience stores lawson's family mart which is the blue and the green the same as the socks and then 7-eleven um and so maybe when we come back when we finish eating ramen We'll uh, go and look at the inside of one so you can see what they got. All right, this looks like a fucking bowl here, except I forgot to read the back and add some more stuff to it, but this is just plain Jane, simple as it is. We'll try it out. All right, so they kind of all have the whole same layout. So they have this little area that has mask and like Walgreens stuff, you know, like toilet paper, uh, there's also magazines. This is my favorite, the little magazine area because the magazines, there's some that if you see this it has like a little tape over it. It has like an additional thing inside. I think this one's a timer. And then there's also some, oh yeah, see here, you can see this one comes with a bag. It has a little brown stuff in it. And there's some that have like a gray little wrapping over it. That way you can't flip through the pages. And then some of these are sealed that way because these are shown in jump so you can't read the next piece next episode unless you actually buy the magazine so here you have your obligatory ramen wall and they have hot water out of the kettle there so you can buy it and then immediately heat it up and then eat it my favorite is the cheese curry at the at the japanese spots you can usually find the regular curry like in the united states you can find curry but you can't find the cheese curry that one's i haven't seen that one and over here are just like some snacks so you have uh you know regular just japanese goods and then every once in a while you'll find some collabs so like they'll do anime collabs like there you know the anime collab with everything and then you know just like every other 7-eleven in the states they have you know some drinks here they also have food and this isn't like a, a hot dog that's been sitting on a on a rotary machine for you know 12 days this is like some real food. Some karaga with some rice, some spaghetti. Some sandwiches. Those sandwiches are always bomb. Those are always great. 
and it just keeps going. So here are some chips. So actually you can see that there they have the uh, the pizza ones, but they won't have the um, the chicken ones. So they got some chips, some beer on the left, and then they got like a little yogurt spot here or like this kind of desserts that can be refrigerated. So here are some baked goods that are sealed. And then uh, over here we have like some ice cream on that left side, you know, drinks. And then there's some of that, you know, co uh, iced coffee that you see sometimes online. And then it, far over there on the left, you can see that they actually have like food like chicken and stuff like that. So you can buy these at the Japanese store or the Asian markets, but it's pretty good. I've never, this is the first time I've had it. I wish this was a little more crispier, you know, like a Kit Kat, um, but it feels a little, you know, a little humid. You can taste the humidity. You can tell us that it's been in there for a little bit. Not as in old, but as in, it's not crispy, right? But other than that, it's good. It's got chocolate in there, vanilla ice cream, a little wafer. It's good. I needed something, you know, to plan as a palate before we go to the next ramen spot. So this is who I read. Family Mart. I think they got better exclusives, better chicken, better ingredients, Papa John's, you know what I mean? But, um, so that last bowl of ramen, that's what I'm talking about, you know what I mean? It kind of reminded me of ramen soros, where it's like yellow, the yellow noodle, yellow curly noodles, the broth was the same color, you know, like the bamboo shoots, green onions, right? It was great. I loved it. That's what I'm talking about. That was a bowl of ramen, and I was like, oof, there we go. Hits the spot right there. And then adding some more flavors into it. They had the little chili powder that you could add to it. Uh, pepper, sesame seeds, all those extra stuff. I just wish I would have added, you know, like the, I, I saw the back of the menu. On the back of the menu, you could add the corn and the butter. Uh, so I might go again. We're uh, have another bowl from there some other day. But we'll see. We're on our, on our way to. And here we go. Last one. 7-Eleven. So now you guys have seen all three, at least the outside of them. You know, that Lawson that we went to, into was pretty big. After we finish picking out the other roll uh, ramen shop, we're going to go to round one. Open 24 hours. So that's just basically like a place where you can go and play crane games. You know, it's similar. I mean, same brand as the one in the States, but way better than that one. We'll go in after ramen and I'll, I'll show you guys. Look. The, uh, we've only walked like 17,000, 15,000 sets a day. Normally we do 22,000. So those are working on, we got to pump them up. So we're going to be walking around a whole lot today. And I haven't eaten that much. All right. So yeah, we're getting two bowls of ramen back to back. Alrighty. So here we are. Sapporo Ramen Alley. So there's like 17 different shops back to back to back that are in there. So we're going to go in, try and pick one out. Alrighty. So here are the shops. They have little bowls on them. I have no idea what the bowls mean. I can't read Japanese. But this is, I guess, a display probably of like what they, how they, how they serve it for you. And there's two on there that have caught my eye. All right, so this is not the one that we're gonna go into, but this is kind of just a view of the menu. So whenever you're looking at the prices, imagine that it already has the dollars and the cents next to it. So on that one, that's one thousand one hundred and one hundred. Imagine that those are the cents, so zero, eleven dollars and zero cents. So it's eleven bucks for that uh, miso soybean paste. So here you can see that alley back to back. And on November 11th, they actually do like a 50% off. So if you come on November 11th, uh, you can get 50% off on any of the uh, items that they have here. All right, rate it. Hey. All right, so what can I tell you other than that was the bomb.com? Oh, I was gonna do a third bowl somewhere else, but this is the first time I felt satisfied. I'm like, damn, that shit was good. I'm full. I'd be okay to call it. So I found out that this means 
how much noodle there is. So this is how much noodle they put in the bowl and then this is how much soup there is. So, you know, this one has a little bit more noodle than it has soup, very little soup. This one is like medium, you know, amount of noodle and soup. Uh, and then I guess in this one, you can choose if you want like a little bit of soup, medium amount, whole lot of soup. And then this map shows you where the location is. So these people walking, there's an overhead view. So this one down here, is this one right here so that way you're, even if you can't fucking read like me you, you have so uh i ended up getting that one right here which is a middle amount of noodle middle amount of soup um but i want to try this one over here and one of them got a michelin star back in 2017 allegedly because they had like a little um, like michelin guide in front of them no i i don't i don't know which one it is but i'm probably gonna come back later on next day and try it out and i'll give you guys a review on that but so far the round's been great so if you've ever been to a round one it's just like any other one so you're gonna have models of anime figures you're gonna have plushies and blankets and then if somebody wins loudspeakers go off but yeah so it's just different types of games different type of market so i like this little gudetama i like this spy family pillow and then i like this little bird here so we're gonna try and see if we can get this bird it looks a little bit closer and easier to get so let's let's try it out all right, I'm giving up on that snowbird. I already spent some money on it. It wasn't working. It wasn't moving. It just kept slipping in between the tail. So we're going to try something else. I'm trying to get the family, uh, spy family one. But that girl that's on there is, is still working it. You know, plushies is something I would not buy. But when you're at, you know, a crane, a crane spot, that's the one time I feel like you can get a, uh, a plushie because you worked for it, right? You didn't just walk into a store, spend five bucks. Oh, here you go. Like, you had to work for this thing, right? So that's why I'm like, no, we're going to try to get one. I mean, we're not going to go way over budget trying to get in it, but we're, we're going to go for it. We're going to give it our best shot. Oh, I'm trying to get this little motherfucker right here. Oh, so close. All right, I'm walking away. I'm walking away. We're gonna. I'm gonna go try and spend some money somewhere else. It's, it's trying to, it's trying to, you know, keep you in. It's like oh, you already sank some money into it. You know, might as well keep going. No, we're we're gonna walk around. We're gonna find some other stuff. See if there's anything else that's a little closer to the edge. See, you might look at this box and be like, "Wow, Eddie, that box is so big. You should totally get it." No, that's the thing. They want you to think that this box is massive. Really, it has like two little packets of Kit Kats in there. There ain't shit in there. So all these big ones, like there's one that has Oreos. I bet you there's two Oreos in them. They always do that. So I'm not going for these big snacks. I'd rather just pay like the buck fifty at the Family Mart to get get it. All right. So that first floor was uh, where that uh, little bird that I was trying to get is at. The second floor is where I was trying to get that pillow. So we might go out to the third floor and the fourth floor, the sixth, up to the sixth floor to try and see what they got. That way you guys can, uh, you know, take a look. All right, so now we're at the third level, which is like this Dave and Buster's. Still the same thing, but now there's like a horse bedding that you can do up here. And these look more like pachinko machines where you just like insert some money and there's a whole bunch of noises and lights that go off. Yeah, I don't know how to play this. All right, fourth floor, we got rhythm games. And the homie here is killing it. Bro out there, he in a whole nother world. He don't even know I'm here. So here we have some like Gundam games. So you're piloting a Gundam here. Got some rock band. Rock band right there. She's cool. She's cool. She's she getting it. She getting it. Or that might be, just be a man with long hair. I, that also like wearing women's shoes. I, I don't know. You you tell me. You know, this is 2022. But there's also games over here where you use actual physical cards to play the game. That's dope. You know, I knew about these rhythm games and I was going to bring my 3.5 mil jack headphones. But I didn't have enough time to grab them. But man... I want to, they're living the dream right now. 
Okay, so those rhythm games were the fourth floor. I forgot. I don't know if I said that. Now we're on the fifth floor, which is darts. And billards over there. And there's karaoke and ping pong. Karaoke and ping pong. And then there's a bowling alley. Also, this place is 24 hours. And this sixth floor is karaoke. So here's a little thing of the map that you guys can see. Hopefully you guys can read it and see what's on there. So that's what's on all the different floors. So from seven on up, it's just bolt more bowling. 26 bucks later. We got him. We got him, boys. We got him. Hey. Let's get some W's in the chat. After I won this, I felt unstoppable. I was ready to go to all the other machines that I didn't win on and start, you know, banging away. But I decided to come back home, even though it's only 9.15. And normally I don't call it until like 12 or 1 or 2. I got some things I need to do. So I, I need to do some laundry because I'm running out of clothes. And um, I need to organize all my stuff. That way um, the rest of the days I can just focus on having a good time so i'm going to just um do that so i'm just going to do some cleaning up so and then go to bed